I, I think it's understandable with an organization as big and as, as unwieldy as the, as the DEA that people in the nerve center are going to be approaching things at a different level from somebody who's involved in the, the under nine camogie team in Wexford or Clare or wherever it is. Um, you know, I, I don't think if there is elitism, I don't think it's anything that's deliberate or that's that's pushed through. But it's it's very difficult for people in you know the the trenches, so to speak, that are working at this every day, not to see the disconnect. And I think this is a good good example of it. I think there might be a disconnect there that they're they're maybe blind to. I don't think it's part. I don't think it's on purpose. Um, but it is something they have to address. I've spoken and uh, with you guys before about, you know, and everybody has about the professionalism of the GA and the road is going down. And I think that's something that they almost instinctively bat away as well. But there is that sense that the GA is going down. I, I certainly, I think the GA is on the road to professionalism personally. Um, but you'll talk to the guys in there and they'll, they'll swear blindly that it's not. And sometimes it's hardest to see something when you're up close and those lads are up close. And it's very difficult, even with strategic plans and everything else, to step back and kind of take a, a look at yourself. And that holds for everybody, even on an individual basis. How hard is it for any of us to sit back and look look at ourselves and, and, and be very honest with ourselves on a personal basis? So, you know, multiply that millions of times for an organization like the GA. And I do think it's something that they kind of have to get a little bit more attention to.